everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am trying out my new GoPro. I bought myself a GoPro. I'm learning how to use it. I recorded a five minute video right before this, trying to figure out if I could keep seeing myself. I had to teach myself through a YouTube video of all things, how to turn the front display on on this thing. Cause why? I didn't read the instruction manual. I just decided to wing it. But nonetheless, we're gonna get into a haul video. You saw my latest auction video. We had a lot of glassware. We had Fenton, we had just everything under the sun. We had pottery, we had two big lots, two dealers went out of business and sent all their treasures in. And I picked up a couple things. Well, I picked up a lot of things, but we're gonna go through and check everything out and go from there. Now you saw the video, there was a ton of Fenton. I picked up a lot of the milk glass and two, three, four pieces of the other Fenton. And I, I'll talk about them. We'll, we'll pull one out here. This is these, this beautiful Fenton bell with the bell flowers on it. I did some research ahead of time. I had two weeks of no auction. So I used that time to kind of look at some of the pictures and figure things out. This bell is a 95th anniversary piece. There's a sticker in the bottom here. It, it does pretty well on eBay. So I was able to get this at a fairly good price where I can make a good profit on it, but it's got this pretty pink shading to the flowers. It's a matte finish, almost like a Burmese. Not sure if it glows. I didn't bring my black light up here before I did the video, but this will be going on eBay. Along with the Fenton, we have this custard deer with the pine cones on it with the original sticker on the bottom. It's an older piece. This does pretty well. They sell consistently for about 75 to $80. So I did see this one. There was a bunch of other deer as you saw in the video, but this one stood out to me. So I checked it out and I was right on the money with it. So this will be also going on eBay if you're interested. It does glow. So I got a whole cart full of stuff here and we'll just start kind of digging through it and see. I did get two pieces of McCoy. I wasn't planning on buying them, but it was a really good deal. This is the fish pitcher. It's got a little boober up here. Where is it? Right there, you can see. It's, uh, it's a nice color. This I'll probably put in the time bomb. These are pretty common so to put it on ebay you probably wouldn't get a lot with it but it's got this great blue color for spring and i think somebody would absolutely love it to put some something in it for springtime so this will be going over to the shop and add it to the e or, uh, to one of the displays I'm trying to see where the other piece of mccoy is it might be oh it's right behind me excuse my reach so this it's just a basic planner. It's marked McCoy on the bottom, as you can see. I like this. I have one that's got a little bit of a teal color here. So this one will probably stay with me so I can have the matching pair. I have probably about 300 pieces of McCoy pottery out there in the sun porch, which we'll see someday in the spring once we get all the outdoor stuff that we store in there in the winter back outside. And we'll do a nice video about all the pottery. So. That'll be going out there. Let's see. I bought this little bin of brass buttons and there's some really interesting military buttons in here. I'm trying to see there was one with a crown. I only paid a dollar for it. So these are actually probably going to go over to Sarah because if you know Sarah, you know, she collects buttons. She actually has a card catalog in her dining room full of vintage buttons that she display or she pulls out and she sorts and she loves her buttons. So anytime I find her a little bit of buttons that looks interesting, I pick them up and that's her little present for the day. Let's see here. I picked up, these were on a tray lot. These are Victorian fairy lamps. You got three of them here. This one's probably the nicest one. It's an amethyst color. It's in really nice shape. 
not any chips or cracks. These typically had a thin wire around this area here and were hung on a tree with a candle in it to light the tree. So they started to come back around. I've done really well with these in the past. So this will probably go on eBay. I have these two here that are an amber color. This one has some chippage around it, which is typical. This one has a few flea bites as well, but this one has a weird thing going on. If you look at it, it's not sitting completely straight. It almost looks like it melted at some point in time down here at the bottom. So I'll probably group these together and put these on eBay, but they should do really well. People are starting to collect them again. I know at one point Misty over at Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter used to collect these. So they're coming back around again. People, people like to use them. You can put a little tea light in it that's battery operated and put it on your tree and you don't have to worry about it burning the place down. I got a set of five of these. They're Limoges, France, little cups and plates. They're really cute. They were in a box slot that had a piece here I'll show you in a minute. But look at the, the great flowers on them. They're just perfect for spring. I'm going to look into these, see if they're worth putting on eBay. If not, I'll put them in the shop. Maybe I'll do like a blue spring display on one of the tables and Again, people love when you group stuff together. It helps stuff sell really well. So, yeah, we'll take a look at that. Along with that came this teapot. And this is what caught my eye. It's got this very mid-century design to it. And it threw me off because of two things. One, it's Hallmark. And two, I'm not sure if this is the original lid. <laughs> I saw there's a brown band around it, and I'm like, is this the lid that goes with this? So I'm going to do a little research on this to see exactly what this is and who made it and if it has any value. If not, we'll donate it. Somebody can use it for something, a project. But I, again, I like the design on it. These two little jugs also we're on a tray lot. Look at it. They have these almost pewter flowers and some pewter applique around the handles. Very cute little things. These would sit very nicely on a windowsill and capture the light and just they have a very different look to them. So most likely these will go on eBay just because you don't see the metal work around them very often. This was also on a tray lot. I think this is probably Japan, but it's got this white with the soft pink and greens kind of running through it. I'll probably take this into the shop and put it in there for spring. It's got a really nice look to it. It's a good size. Somebody would really appreciate that. And I did get my milk glass candle holders. I think these will work. I'm going to reach around the front of this display here and just pull a candle out and see. And yes, they will work. For what I want them for. So I might, since they're they're a little different than I like, um, they have this reservoir here. I might do some candied hearts. I heard Jason over at Mother Tucker Antiques talking about using some candy hearts. That was a good idea, Jason. So I might get some at the store this week, put the candles in, and then put the candy hearts around them. But again, these would work for St. Patrick's Day as well, my Easter display. So they're a good essential piece to have, I guess, since I'm going with these milk glass vases. They were also on a tray lot with, with other milk glass. This is a cute little tiny Millefiori paperweight. It's got some good colors to it. That was on a tray lot, so we'll put that up on eBay. Got the Fenton hobnail lighter. That was on the tray lot with a couple other pieces. So this will go up on eBay. This little vase here, it's very cute little bud vase. I have to do some investigations. This was on a tray lot. And I'm wondering if this is a sterling base or a silver plate base. I just thought it was cute, had a nice look to it. Again, when you're buying a tray lot of stuff, you kind of 
kind of have to go with what you get. And luckily this was on it. So I'm not sure where this will end up yet. Well, we're going to do a little research. It might end up in the shop. It might end up on eBay. But we'll figure it out. So for the last couple of years, I've been buying Christmas pins. I have this idea. Not sure what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it yet. But I've been collecting the Christmas pins. And I picked up three of them last night. This one doesn't have the back, so I gotta figure that out. Maybe add a back to it with this little dog here with the stocking. And then this one that says, ho, ho, ho. So I have a little plan I'm working on with a bunch of Christmas pins. I'm gonna see how it turns out. But I always, when I see them, I always kind of pick them up. I got another glass ax to go on my glass axe collection. This one has a little hole on the end here to put a string or something through it, but it was it was cute. So that's gonna go up here in the cabinet. Another nice piece of Fenton hobnail milk glass. This is the candle holder. It's marked patent pending on the bottom. It's in really nice shape. This I probably will put in the shop just because of the weight. Unless somebody out there really wants it, let me know. But it's it's a very pretty piece, nice weight. This little open creamer and sugar set is Elizabethan fine bone china made in England. This was on a tray lot. It's in great shape. Gonna look into this. It's a 50-50 shot of whether it's gonna go on eBay or go into the store. But it's got a great look for spring. So I bought a tray of babies. And the reason why I bought the tray of babies is this little 1962 napco wear baby with the phone. Very cute. Marked on the bottom. That'll be going on to eBay. Babies are coming back around, apparently. That's something I learned off of YouTube. So on that milk glass tray that I bought, they had these Kreber and Sugar. These are Fenton. They're marked on the bottom. Great look for spring. These will be going into the eBay store. They seem to do really well. So we'll be adding these to that. I also bought a tray full of beaded bananas. There's one, two, there's five total. They were a dollar. I couldn't pass them up. Why you have five beta bananas, I will never know, but I will be putting them on a lot in a lot on eBay and selling them. I just think they're hysterical. You can see that these were originally plastic beta plastic bananas that somebody went through and beat it as a hobby. So very cool. Somebody out there needs a basket of beat up bananas and they can pick them up out of my eBay store. These were on the baby tray. These are early pieces. They're marked on the bottom. Design, and I can't make out the rest, 6682. They're in great shape. I may look into these, see if there's any, any need or want for these, but I had to buy the tray to get the Napco baby, so they came along for the ride. Reach down here again. This is a really pretty Shelly Demitas cup and saucer. It's got all sorts of flowers on it. Let me see here, I'll show you. But now that I look at it, I don't think it's actually the right set for each other. The Shelly marks are both different. It's a nice marriage, but it doesn't match. I had to buy several cups and saucers to get this one that I kind of was eyeballing. So I don't know. Might put this in the store just because it's got some spring display qualities to it. I didn't pay a lot for the cups and saucers, which is unusual because usually they go pretty high, but I did like it. So we'll see. It'll probably end up in the shop. 
unless it's a really rare pattern that somebody needs a saucer for, then we can throw it on eBay. Again, some more babies listening to each other. These are actually made in Japan. They're cute. We're going to we're going to check into these and see these should probably end up on eBay. There's just, like I said, there's a baby resurgence. I like this little guy for myself. He was on a tray lot. He's a blown glass pig and he housed, he's got a curly Q tail. He was a liquor bottle. They used to put little shots of liquor in here. So he's pretty cool. I like him. This is a nice slag glass mug and this very unique green and white design. This was again in a tray lot. Slide glass is doing pretty well, so we're going to put that up on eBay. I bought this little piece of pink crest for my Valentine's Day display. It actually came with another piece of Fenton, so I'll show you that here in a minute. But I just liked it because it was the soft pink, and I thought it would look nice in my tray here on the table. So we're going to get that on there. Put it over there. The other piece of Fenton was this lovely little ruffled, hand-painted, signed artist signed with the purple violets on it. Very pretty. So that'll probably go up on eBay. Along with the babies came this lovely lady trinket box and a bisque. Pops right off there. That actually will probably go up on eBay because it's just very cute, very dainty. The flowers are in pretty good shape for the most part. So we'll throw that up there. This is actually a match set. This is a little demi toss cup. It's marked RS Germany. Very cute little cup and saucer. Let me turn it around here so you can see the front of it. Very nice. Very cute. We'll see about that. That'll probably end up in the shop. I'm going to do a display. Here is the cup and saucer. I don't even know if you call it a cup and saucer that I want it. It's actually enamel. It's very different. The lady here with the small head. But it just was kind of cool. I have some enamel pieces that kind of match this a little bit. So I thought this would be nice to add to it. But I've never seen one. Quite like that. It does have a little bit of loss to the enamel around the edges, but it's an old piece. So that's going to stay with me. There's this cute little miniature hair receiver. It's marked hand painted Japan, but it's just teeny tiny. Very cute little scene. That's probably going to go into eBay. There, this is really cute. This is a little smaller creamer and sugar and the daisy and button pattern. But look at the handles on it. They're fanned handles. This is in great shape. There's no markings on it. It's ruffled at the top. I'm going to put this on eBay and see how it does. But I just thought it was really cute. And it was on the tray with the rest of the milk glass. Trying to keep things moving along here. Here's a really nice hand-painted Nippon cup and saucer. Very Asian style. The handle has a little bit of gold loss, but I think it's got a great design to it. I'll probably end up putting this on eBay just because it's it's got a good look to it. This is a really nice mid-century, probably Swedish crystal glass with a jumping deer on it. I didn't see any markings on it. It does need to be cleaned up a little bit. There's a little bit of watermarks on the inside, but we'll get those cleaned up, but very neat piece. We'll do these two here together since they were together. This is a very neat mid-century vase. It's flat on one side. It's actually a vase bookend, they call it. I've sold these before. Very neat blue quilted pattern. This will probably go into the shop along with this great green 
base with the quilted pattern as well. Nice piece. They're hand done. Ooh, reach down here. Another nice Lily cup and saucer. This will probably go in the shop. Just a nice little springtime piece with the foot at three foot pedestal. Now I did get a whole flat of various linens and doilies and whatnot. And I'm not going to show them in this video just because it would be a really long video. But those most likely will be grouped up into lots and will be sold on eBay. These two boxes, and there's an ashtray here that came. They're New Hall, Hanley, Staffordshire, England. They're just great little boxes. This one says Captain Cuddle, as you can see. And this one says Sari Gamp. And then let me put that down. I'm just all over the place today. This one says Mr. Peck and Sniff. But I'll probably group these together, put them on eBay. Like I said, they were only a couple dollars for the whole tray lot of things. And then this was also on it. This is a very pretty vase, possibly sterling on the top there. It's an older piece. There's some markings on the bottom. This will probably go in the shop, just again with the spring display, just so it looks nice. The last thing I wanted to show you is I bought a tray of cufflinks and there's some really interesting men's cufflinks in here. And I'll probably do it as a, a lot, but there's like these guys here, let's see, these chest like ones. And I'm noticing some of the stones are out of them, but some people may want them for repair. But there's some great designs in here. Let's see. There's these Queen Elizabeth coin ones. Let's see, what else do we have here? Do, 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 do. There's so many to choose from. Um, these were some of my favorites. These mid-century with the red, and they're in really nice shape. Are they marked by anybody? There is a marking on there, but it's very, very tiny. These are really fun. Look at the stones in them. These are scorpions, so I believe that's a... But there's a, there's a whole different assortment of them in here. Here, I'll show you these ones too. But these will be going up on eBay as a lot. And hopefully somebody out there will appreciate them. I thought they were very neat. There's even a snap-on tie clip in here. So definitely, definitely some interesting pieces. So that is pretty much it for the haul video. If you saw anything in the video that you liked, shoot me a message, leave me a comment, check my eBay store. The links will be down in the description. I have more haul vi videos to shoot tonight. I just came from an estate this afternoon and picked up some vintage Christmas as a couple other things too. I do want to get some of that washed up tonight because it was sitting in a house that was very dark. <laughs> we'll get into that. And I did pick up a few things at an online sale yesterday that I want to film. So thank you for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.